Hey, what's up everyone? Sorry for the background noise that's just gonna be going on during this video, but I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of this 2021 Thor Daybreak to give you an idea of what a newer uh, Class C Thor Daybreak looks like. Now, this is a 22 GO, so this is not a very big Class C. If you're looking for something that's um, smaller, then this is is something that you might want to look into is, is like one of these day breaks. This is not for sale, um, but just wanted to do a quick walkthrough because this is a really uh, clean, nice RV. I'm not going to open up this storage bin, um, but that, that's what that is there is a, just a nice storage bin. You have the day break emblem there on the side or on the back. You also have one um, on the side, on both sides. You have a full um, awning on this side leaning all the way up past the front door right before the bunk. We'll take a walk around the actual RV all the way over to this side. This is back in our service department here at Casone's RV. If you ever need service done, this is definitely the place to come if you're uh, in the area in Arizona. This is on a Chevy uh, this has got a Chevy uh, Chevy motor as opposed to the Ford V10. I think it's a Chevy 8.1. This uh, this is a 2021, so it is almost a brand new RV. Um, it does have 22,000 miles on it, so it has been driven um, with the year and uh, gotten some a little bit of use out of it. It hasn't been sitting. It's definitely been used um, for sure, so it's not brand spanking new. Um, but... We just came out with the 2022, so this is pretty relatively new. We have, as soon as you walk in, booth, uh, dinette, that does turn into um, a bed if you need some extra sleeping there. Let me close this door so get rid of the background noise. Right over to my left-hand side, you have the uh, kitchen. Well, although you don't have a, a lot of counter space, as this is only about 24 feet in length, uh, you do have a little extended... Uh, table that you can put up there for extra space while you're cooking because you are going to need something you can always you know if you're washing something here that you're not going to have any space so at least you have that table that flips up so you have somewhere to set um, something on while you're making making something so you do have an oven in this as well as uh, your three propane um, as opposed to electric burners right there above that and then you have a microwave up top. Um, I would say this is a pretty common layout as far as something that is going to be this length. You do have the corner bed. Some people aren't fond of the corner bed, but at the same time, a lot of people aren't fond of a longer RV. This is a shorter RV, so you definitely have to make compromises when it comes to being an RV that's 24 feet in length. Although this um, bed is, um, I believe this bed is a, is a full so it's sometimes hard to tell, especially um, when it's in the corner like that. But I believe that bed's a full. It still has good room. It's just that the reason that people sometimes don't like the corner bed is because you do have to crawl into them, especially if you have more than two people using the bed because you have to get to the other side. There's no way around it. So that is the disadvantage of a corner bed. But the advantage um, is that you're in a smaller RV um, and getting into certain areas, you if you don't want something that's bigger, something that's more convenient, this RV definitely is that. So you do have another booth if um, you know you don't want to have somebody jump in the other side. You have a full booth up here, which is definitely spacious enough for one person um, with ease, even possibly two people. I mean, it's it's a pretty big bunk up here. You have the TV that is on a swivel that swings out. You got your two front seats. And your Chevy emblem up there, as well as a backup camera, GPS, and all that good stuff on the screen right there in the center. <clears throat> in the back corner is your bathroom, which you'll find this against probably standard in an RV of this size. You have your toilet first. Following that, you have your shower in the back. And actually, even though this is um, a smaller RV, I will say that what it does lack is maybe a little bit of headspace. If you're somebody that's, you know, six, I don't know, two or so, it's going to be a struggle. You might have to, you know, bend your head a little bit. But um, it's not like it's like super crunched as far as the, 
the width of the shower. Like you do have some space there. It's just the headroom that, um, you know, you don't have a lot of. You do have a step up here um, going up. So not everything is level. You do have a small step up here going to the bed in that, that back bathroom as well as you have some closet space here. Um, you definitely need some kind of storage. So you do have a pretty good storage bay um, back there in the back on the outside but obviously for the inside you want some storage for your clothes you have some there and i believe uh yes you can actually store um some more stuff underneath of this booth dinette as well if you guys like this video please leave it a thumbs up let me know what you want to see in the future down in the comments section uh this rv is not for sale but if you're looking for something like this for sale um i will leave my email down in this description you can always ask me what i have and i will uh provide any information that you're looking for and as always thanks for watching